everybody and welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld! So, as you know last time, we just started up with the, uh, the Alpha, Alpha 1 and all that jazz. And quite frankly, I'm just super excited to get back into things, so let's, uh, get started with our future projects, like, and all that jazz. Nice to know that back, Bacchus? Bacchus? I don't know, our hermit here is starting to get to work on, um, getting our plants all grown. Because we're not necessarily, like really struggling in regards to our food supply, but we could definitely do with more. I totally forgot that we have this raider, raider chilling up there. She seems to slowly be working her way down, even though I still don't think there's too much of a risk that she'll notice us. I don't know. She's only got a pistol anyways, like I discussed last time, so she should not be much of a problem at all for us. And nice. Um, oh, this is new, right? I'm pretty sure it didn't say actually the, the description of what research you completed right there. I think it just said research finished nutrient, uh, uh, resynthesis. And didn't have this nutrient paste dispensers, consume 10% less food, blah blah blah. I'm pretty sure it didn't have that before, but I might just be remembering that completely wrong. So what would be more important now? We could either... Increase uh, the strength of our pickaxes, start getting a gun turret up, or blasting charges. Um, interesting to know. Oh, no, I think blasting charges was always 1,500, and the fear tech was 900. I thought blasting charges got nerfed for a second, but that's definitely not the case. Uh, let's go ahead and do our blasting charges. We'll get that done early, then work on the picks a little bit later. Would nice to have that 20% 20 uh, 20 plus effectiveness, but we, we, we don't really need to manage with that too much. At least not for the time being, uh, in my opinion. So let's see, let's actually set up to get some doors constructed before I waste any metal. We could probably put one right there and one about right there. I think those two would work pretty well. We'll probably put another right there in the future, but then again... I don't know, our storage room doesn't have one. Raiders are attacking, which is really sucky that she's deciding to do it at night, but uh... Obviously very well planned for her. Vast is our main fighter though, and she's she's gotten most of her rest, so let's let's uh, have her go right about there. I think she should get there perfectly fine before this raider becomes too much of a threat. Yeah, there shouldn't be too much of a problem there. Um is this our first fight since doing the thing? I forget if Bruce was just a random traveler or if he was a raider or not. But um but yeah, so this actually might be our first fight in the new alpha, which will Totally be lots of fun, for sure! Uh, hmm... I was gonna have Bacchus, like, go and try to get this really good angle, but why not just have him, like, flank from the side position? That should work pretty fine. Obviously, we'll need to move Vass up a little more, otherwise she's not gonna be able to shoot this lady. Oh my god, Vass! Okay, luckily Vass has more health than it looks, but I think Vass does start with a lower amount of health than everyone else, despite being a merc. Because, like, uh, let's see, that's 90 and that's 80%, and the red life bar, I- that's one, that's one thing I really need to learn. I need to learn if the life bar underneath each character actually has any relevance, um, or if you should just go based on the, like, percentages here, because uh, she, she has 80 out of 100, while ba uh, Bacchus has 90 out of 100, but still- Looking at the, like, bar on the bottom, it looks like he has, like, twice as much health as her. So I don't know if that just means... This is a female? I thought that was a male. Well, that's silly of me. But I I don't know if this character's just more tanky? Or, like, has some armor that's boosting that? Um, or if, like, the, the red bars for each character is pretty much irrelevant. I don't know if that's the case. That's one thing I should definitely figure out. So let's go ahead and keep the time flowing. Um, that lady is incapacitated, but I can't... Actually, no, I can 100% capture her. What am I saying? Just put two prisoners in the same room. That would be very silly of me if I would have messed that up. So let's go ahead and capture her. Yeah! Get additional squad mates on my team. Uh, the one sucky thing about this situation is actually that there is no one that we could give that gun at the time being. At least not until we recruit John or the, uh, or that lady right there. Oh my god, we're playing like another, another Amazon tribe. Like an uh, Amazon women or something like that. Because all of our... That's, um, that's a male. You're telling me that Big Red here is a male... 
despite the long hair, and this is a female. Interesting. I, I don't know what to say about that. Obviously, there's nothing against girls, uh, I'm saying nothing against girls with long hair, or, I mean, with short hair, or guys with, um, long hair. It's just, that really looks like a female, and that really looks like a male. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just weird. Let's see how much food we still have in these things. Okay, plenty. Um, would like to have more, but with those uh, hydroponics tables built, I don't think there should be too much of a worry for us in that regard. So let's see. Um, Big Red's gonna continue doing research. I think everything should be moving uh, fairly nicely for the time being. I'm just gonna double check on this dude. Okay, cool. We have him set to try to recruit, and he's pretty damn happy. So hopefully we'll get another squad mate before too long, because obviously that's something that um would really, really benefit uh, us in this future. Maybe in our future, maybe she'll even succeed right now. Because, I mean, we, we have a lot of people who, basically, like, all the tasks that I really want to get done are filled up. Like, everyone can haul, um, there, there's, a, I only need one grower right now, there's two people who could mine, and more important, and most importantly, I would probably say, there's a lot of people who, everyone can do construction and repair, but still, that's always the downside about starting off at, ah, oh, failed, God damn it. um... Big Red failed to recruit John? It had an 8% chance? He's so high! God damn it. Oh well. Um, but as I was saying, that's obviously one of the downsides to starting off a new colony, because things always start off a little bit slow, then pick up really quickly as uh, time goes along, because, you know, it's a new colony, completely to be expected that things would get off to a bit of a slow start. We should get a couple more batteries built, so, um... AKA, I should get a battery room built, I think. This would probably function as a pretty good battery room, but I think we also were going to make that our equipment barracks? I don't know. This is going to be our communications room, and unfortunately, that's obviously going to be halted a little bit. Um, hmm. I think I actually should make a, a, a new specific prisoner room so I could start... Ugh, failed to recruit again, that's rough. Um... So, so I could have a place to start putting prisoners, um, when I don't want them to be in this room anymore, which actually will be very soon, because we don't have quite enough food that I would feel, uh, very, very comfortable with selling a lot, but we'll be pretty close to that point before too long, so let's, let's make the prisoner room right about here. Oh, we actually have to put down some sun lamps, I completely forgot about that. Put one right there, one right there, do our usual setup for those, and let's actually prioritize getting those built, because obviously we want our food to keep on growing, so... Yeah, he, 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 sun lamp? Oh, it's being built by Vass! Okay, she's already working on it. Really? Oh yeah, she's going to get that metal. Thank you, Vass, you're being very, very helpful right now. Um... Because we definitely need some light getting into this room. It's nice to see that uh, Bacchus is actually being able to grow the plants, or at least cut them at the time being. You really picked the wrong one, Vass, but I think that's gonna be okay for now. I <laughs> uh, kinda wish she hadn't made that mistake, but you know. Uh, live and learn. Live and learn, I suppose. Or if I want to be a badass, I could say live and let die. That was always one of my favorite, like... Um, fighting game catchphrases, because honestly, I never really understood it 100%. Live and let die? What does that mean exactly? Just live and disregard death? I don't know, that's the only thing I could think of. Definitely should have made a bed for Bacchus in here since we don't have all those built, but... Oh, another traveler! This guy's big. He's really big, pretty fat. Uh, that's, uh, not, not to try to insult anyone, looks like he has a little squirrel friend who's chilling with him, that's pretty funny. Uh, obviously not to insult anyone or anything by calling this dude fat, but I really, I really do like how there's new, like, sizes for characters in this game, like, I, I would say Big Red is about average or something like that, but you can have thin characters like Bacchus right here, and then also some heavier ones like, uh, this, this dude Banks who's just chilling. So this is gonna really suck, because once again, this is... Honestly, at this point, we might want to transfer our communication room to somewhere else. Um, because otherwise, it's gonna take us forever to frickin' 
build anything there. So let's have Vass... Well, what is Vass doing? Vass is mining. You don't need to do that right now. You can go ahead and arrest this guy so he could get an additional colonist. He does not have any equipment. So that's something that we won't need to worry about. At least, um... Actually, we won't need to worry about it at all. I was going to say at least for the time being. But obviously, that's not going to be much of an issue. He's got no equipment. Got no, no worries. It's like, no... It's like... Mo equipment, less problems. That kind of situation. Go ahead and eat your food, Vass. So let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and sell this bed right here. So all of our people will be living inside. They also all have their own rooms right now, which is very, very nice for sure. Uh, let's go ahead. We won't try to recruit Banks yet, but we will set him up for a friendly chat each day. Jesus Christ, Big Red. Come on, aren't you our best warden? Yeah, she is! She's doing a pretty sucky job right now. I know it's only a 12%, but usually we get better luck than that. Oh well. Uh, I don't know why I completely forgot to light up this room, so let's go ahead and do that. We only need two right now, I would say. Uh, so hopefully that job will be finished before too long. Ooh, another cargo unit. It's by our scrap, which is interesting enough, but, but that'll be really good. Um, we're at 400 food! Nice! We've actually been gathering food exceptionally quickly, so let's go ahead. It pains me a little bit to say this, but let's make our communication room. We're gonna put the communication room way over here. Really, it does- there's no reason to have the communication room right across from the research table. I just liked how that looked before. I thought it looked really nice, but... Instead, we're gonna swap things up a little bit, so let's- let's- let's keep time going because there's no reason to really have it paused. Um, and just, uh, keep things moving along, or, or make things move along a bit better. Failed to recruit once again? You're disappointing me like hell, Big Red. Big Red isn't- Big Red is a big disappointment. <laughs> I'm so funny. Not really at all. Uh, since the bed is right down there, let's put it down on that side. That should look perfectly fine and dandy. And then, of course, we need some lights. We'll put a light right there. And then... Actually, no. Let's put them both in the middle. I usually like to have them about equal. And now we'll, like, finish... Wait. When did Raiders land? Oh my god! <laughs> I completely missed that little letter thing. That's funny. Molotov cocktail, that's very frustrating. Oh god. I hate Molotov cocktail raiders more than pretty much anything else. So let's go ahead and set up our defenses. We're gonna want to set the... Well, actually, I hate frag grenade ones more now that I think about it. But let's go ahead and set up our defenses. We're gonna use... Um, how about the... No, no, actually, yeah, these two are the same ones we used for the last fight. So they worked well then. Let's go ahead and see if they work well once again. Hopefully we'll be able to kind of cut him off here before he gets to that cover. Oh man, I don't know where he's going now. Oh, he's just gonna stand there. Vass got off a first, uh, a bad first shot, which obviously is pretty unfortunate. But good news for us is that uh, so did Tails there. But that looks like a good one. Crap, Vass is on fire. Okay, we're getting all three people out here because I want this guy dead right now. There's nothing more irritating than units catching on fire. Please him! Oh, good lord. Okay, that's that's a miss. Nice to know that. And Vass is kind of moving on her own accord, which is fine um, for sure. Please, just... Okay, Vass looks like she might be starting to panic because of the fire, which obviously is awful. I hate fire so much. Is there, like, some dodge and roll commands that I could give you, Vass? So this is the sucky thing about these Molotov cocktail guys. Just one Molotov cocktail dude can cause you so many freaking issues. Okay, Vass still has a lot of health. Just she's like got this huge flame covered on her, which obviously is very scary. So does Big Red. Jesus Christ. I think I gotta move. Oh God, now he's on fire. This is awful. At least there's a frickin' fog, which one would imagine would be helping putting the fires out, but it doesn't seem to be doing that at all. Okay, so, so you are, please not on, uh, she's burning, she's burning. Fire sizes, are my people just gonna die here because of one 
fi like one raider with a Molotov cocktail. How do, how do I put out these fires? Dodge and, oh. Thank you, Big Red. Is, oh, Vass is gonna die. Vass is gonna die from being caught on fire. Please don't, okay. He's not on fire anymore. Frickin' rescue Vass right now. Don't want to lose her. Amazingly enough, that fire just went out on Big Red, so hopefully she'll be fine. Vass is almost certainly gonna die. Get there, Big Red. Oh, God. It's raining! Rain, put out the fire! Vass is dead. God damn it. She was a good unit, too. I can't, this is what, that's why I hate Molotov cocktails. One, I mean, obviously we could have handled that better. If I wasn't an idiot and missed that letter, we, uh... I would have known that she would, that raider was there and could have planned it out better. But god damn, that went horribly. Now I only have two people, so I really need to uh, rely on Big Red actually gain some sec successful recruits here. Which isn't happening. Which is an incredible downer. We're actually going to make this hermit guy another warden just so I can hopefully, in a way, double the chances of recruiting people. I don't know if that it works that way. But frickin' hell, that was... Honestly, that was very, very irritating. I cannot believe that happened that way. So let's go ahead and set up a grave. I'm not gonna use it for a while, or at least I'm gonna try not to. Let's just, like, set our graves down here in this corner. We'll build, build like, a big cemetery at the bottom of the map or something along those lines. Vass is a good, good unit. Very sorry to see her go. Um, how m we are getting low on food, too. We are Actually, we have a lot more than it appears because it's all sitting on the floor, but someone needs to put food in that frickin' thing. Please, Bacchus, prove to be better than Big Red because Big Red has been goddamn garbage at recruiting people. That's the thing, too, I gotta say about Vass, though. Like, failed to recruit. God, this is awful. This is absolutely awful at this point. I don't know if this is, like, uh... In addition to being, um, the, the harder Cassandra, no, it's not Cassandra, it's Cleotra Cleopatra? I think that's the name of di this difficulty setting. Obviously, she's supposed to be harder, but I don't know if that also increases, like, the, or decreases the chance of recruiting people, because I don't think I've ever had this many failed recruits at once. Let's go ahead and s check the stats. Yeah, the full, 100% happy. This dude's almost 100% happy, and she's almost 100% happy as well. Or, or full in loyalty and all that. In all honesty, uh, th this isn't necessary. This isn't really a complaint at all, but just a comment. I would, I would say, wouldn't you think that once they got to this point, like their his loyalty is 100%, um, his happiness is 100%, his fear is pretty damn low. You would think that he would be, like, uh, head over heels to try to be joining our squad. You you would think he would join us immediately, rather than g having to go through all this trouble just to get him on our squad. Um, obviously, that's a gameplay kind of thing, but realistically, you would think that these would actually work out and not fail constantly. This is absolutely crazy. So we definitely should get those, like, tombs built before too long, but honestly, I don't really... Want to even worry about that all right now? Nice. Okay, we finally have a new guy. Just he's kind of awful, which is very disappointing. He's obviously going to be our new miner then. And let's set her to prioritize hauling. Um, yeah, Big Red was one of the females. Mining will be a second con uh thing. Good thing about this, it al this guy allows us to focus on um all of those things, and he is god awful at research. But I think. Nah, we'll we'll keep research up on um on Big Red instead. So hopefully that'll work out fine. Definitely means we're gonna be getting a lot of things built, but um and and he could get a lot of mining done on his own. In fact, maybe to the point where I should actually cancel Big Red as a miner completely. I think that might be a good idea. Maybe I'm just completely wrong, but once that guy gets the construction done. Uh, any mining job that I have, he should, uh, fulfill pretty, pretty quickly and pretty easily. So let's see, we, we need to add a second grave. I completely forgot to put down a second one because obviously our, our squad mate wasn't the only one who was lost. And we definitely need someone to grab that Lee Enfield as well. Let me see. We do not have anyone who is, like, an expert shotsman anymore. 
which is definitely very saddening. Where the hell did our our new person go? Am I just blind as a bat, apparently? Oh, there he is. Uh, John! Yeah, John is a butcher, so he's obviously not gonna be very good, um, at shooting either. That's a really sad thing about that fight as well. Um, n not just that Vars, our, our merc, our merc mercenary, was killed, our, our best shot on our team, but also that she, honestly, was kind of garbage in that fight as well. I, I definitely prefer the assassins over the mercs, because from my experience, the mercs have not been all that much, uh, uh, better, haven't been much better shots at all than just the normal squad mates. Maybe, honestly, I just don't understand the merc class, but assassins have been, like, uh, you know, like, dead eye, like, perfect shots, while, um, the assass- well, the mercs have definitely been otherwise. So let's see, hopefully in this situation here- god, more and more fails to recruit. Um, John, I appreciate you hauling that, but, uh, honestly, I would actually kind- wait a minute. Oh, John is building, he's not hauling. Nice to know that, um- that the, the fact that he can't haul does not restrict his ability to go ahead and pick up metal to construct things. I suppose that would actually be, in some regards, uh, game-breaking <laughs> if he couldn't haul things to carry them so he, he can't construct things either. But, um, but uh, it's just nice to know that, that, that he is willing to haul things when he's actually doing it for construction purposes. So let's see. We have one extra bed. Because Big Red is sleeping in there, and I definitely want to get rid of those beds before, uh, sooner rather than later, put down normal beds. But honestly, I think I might want to keep that one for now, just so I have an extra space for someone to sleep. Um, we actually have nine- no, that's 300. I thought that was 900. That's unfortunate. We do still have 368 food, though, which is a, a very, very high amount. So, um... We'll definitely try to go ahead and sell that as soon as we can. Okay, both of those graves are built. John, why don't you... He, oh yeah, he's not a hauler. He can't do that. Where more failed to recruits because our people are garbage, apparently. Um, w what are you doing, buddy? Okay, plant cutting is probably pretty damn important at this moment. So once Big Red finishes eating, let's have her haul the corpses inside. I like how she's just going to sit at this table that's literally next to nothing, just like some some building plans on the floor to um to eat her food. I mean, it makes sense. It's better than eating standing up, but th th this chair looks kind of silly right now. It's just chair in the middle of a room for no reason. Hope it's comfortable, though. And Big Red? Ah, thank you! You're you're way ahead of me, apparently. Screw you, Molotov Cocktails, I hate you. <laughs> so let's see. What is there for us to do, or what do we want to prioritize? I really, really want to get more mining done, because our metal could be in such a uh, better supply. So nice to know that John is doing that, we're, but we're kind of in a very awkward situation, because... Um, as I mentioned earlier, th three squad mates is kind of a really uncomfortable number. Obviously, it's better than two or one. If you have two or one, you're in panic mode. But, uh, when you have three, you have a lot less leeway to decide, like, what actions you want to, uh, take place and prioritize and stuff like that, because I really, really would like to get a lot of metal on hands. And we do have a lot scattered around the map, I think, though, so that might be the way that I handle this. There's a lot of food scattered, but actually it looks like, yeah, it looks like we actually dwindled our, our entire metal supply, so quite the opposite of what I was mentioning, which is very, very, very saddening. Um, eventually, I should go ahead and start building a wall, a perimeter wall around my city, so I can kill anyone who tries to show up. We do have a... Oh, we got one of the dudes with a sick hairdo, that's awesome. It's just a spacer, I don't really know what that means. Um, let's go ahead and have John capture this man. Thank God John was captured, so we actually have more... S I mean, John was recruited, so we actually have more space to capture any of these people without having to build a another new bed. So that works out pretty nicely for us. Um, 
Still, though, really need to get more metal mined out. Once John finishes that job, the dude did not have a pistol by the looks of things, or, or any weapon for that matter. Um, once John does that, I'll see what he prioritizes, and based on what he does, I probably will change him to a mining instead. Yeah, he's gonna eat. Let's see what he wants to do once he's done. You want to go and repair the chair? No! Uh, mining is more important, my good sir. Thank you for your effort, but, uh, no. <laughs> Simply put as that. Damn, I really want to get a wall built around the perimeter of our base, I gotta say. Uh, the one sucky thing about building a wall is obviously that'll restrict some of our movement for our people. I'll need to decide where, where I want the wall for one, but also where I want the exit to the wall to be. Um, and I'm gonna want to base that on where we have the most stuff that we can mine out. Maybe, actually, we will wait on the wall until I mine out that area as well. Like, we, we can continue mining out that, mine out that top one, then we could have the entrance to our base down here towards the bottom, so we could continue mining out that metal. Then hopefully by the point we used all that, we'll actually be building into the mountainside and re uh, relying on a lot of the metal we get from inside there. HOLY CRAP, THAT'S A BIG RAIDER ATTACK FORCE! That is really scary for this point. They were not messing around when this was tough, Cassandra Classic. One good thi- Molotov cocktails, really. That's what screwed me over last time! This is very frightening. Very, very frightening. I think we need to set up some kind of blasting charge defense, and I need to do that right away. Only problem is, without our wall, I don't really know what's the best way to set it up, you know? So this is gonna be very, very interesting. I don't know how exactly we're going to handle this fight. We still have three weapons on hand? Yeah, three weapons, so... I would definitely feel a lot better if there weren't that- if there wasn't that one Molotov dude. Like, e even- even being five raiders all with pistols, I don't think that would be the scariest thing in the world if it just wasn't that one frickin' Molotov dude, like I was saying. So, hmm. That's 31 metal right there. We're probably going to start placing down blasting charges in... Not necessarily an awkward... Uh, okay, failed to recruit. I was worried that that was the raiders seeing us right now. The raiders might notice you, lady, so Big Red, I would actually much rather prefer you to prioritize working on that construction. Even still, they might notice her while they're while she's going to do that, so this is a bit of a scary position that we're in. We're gonna place that one blasting charge there, and probably another one alongside that door, because I don't think there's any likelihood that the raiders are gonna come in from this way, or that bomb way, or one of those rooms right there. We'll move everyone inside these doors, I think, and then we'll wait for them to try to uh, break their way through, at which point, um... Uh, wh why did you stop building that? Do we need more metal? That was 31 that she picked up, so that should have built the whole thing, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why it didn't work out that way. Bit unfortunate that didn't send items or silver to orbit... orbital. Tr okay, yeah, wait. You must build a launch pad outdoors? That's cool! Apparently there... Apparently there's no longer a way to just warp things to, uh... Traders that come by. Where the hell is, uh, one of those things? One of the things I just mentioned. Ah, a launch pad! There we go. Whoa! 100 metal. That makes sense. Oh, that's nice. It's pretty big. Hmm. Obviously, that's something that we'll have to uh, test with in the future. So, let's see. John, I'm going to want you to definitely work on an, an additional blasting charge, one that we're going to put right there. So, you get to the meta... Can't pri Uh, he can't... Wait. Oh, yeah, I was going to have him haul that. I want, him, I want to click that thing. Uh, okay, that's a traitor. <laughs> and they left comms range. Why the hell didn't I have anyone buy something? That was very, very foolish of me. Or even more than buy something, sell something for sure. Um, we want this built right away. So, John, please be able to finish the... No, he's not going to be able to. Prioritize that once again, John. Hopefully he'll be able to finish that before the raiders. Um, you've... Uh, oh, nice. Okay. 
So we have another person that we can recruit if we survive this raider attack. So it's going to be a bit of a weird situation right now. They're coming down the right side. So hopefully I can bait them towards this blasting charge. Really? I Stop hauling. <laughs> uh, please. Oh, that thing's built. Okay. Um, Let's actually... No, no, no. At this point, she needs to stop. The only reason why I was going to have her continue going was because I wanted to have her work on baiting those guys further. But I think we're at the point where we need to um, set up our defenses in here. So she's going to work a little bit more as bait. Oh, they're a little bit closer than I thought. Oh, God. Okay, she got through perfectly fine there. Let's wait for them to try to break down the door. Okay, good. We need more than one dude, for sure. Three might work fine. There's still the pistol and the other pistol lady. That's the Molotov cocktail dude. Okay, this is the situation that we want. Please kill them before they get through. Okay, did a fair amount of damage. Now the question is, do we want them to break down our door or do we start sending dudes out? Let's actually send John to flank their position. I think that should work pretty well. Uh, he'll go out along that way if they get the door breaking down, which they are relatively close. Um, oh god, John, be careful. Actually, fire on them, please, buddy. Okay, we're gonna... This is a silly situation. Um, now John's life is actually in danger. That did not work the way I wanted it to at all. So, now John is going to go in here. Hopefully this means the raiders will move around and will start to target this door, at which point we blow them up. Honestly, just that one guy could be a fair trade with a blasting charge. Obviously, I would want to destroy more of them, but those guys are going to start wrecking on that door. So let's just kill off the Molotov cocktail guy. He's, um, honestly, to some degree, considered my biggest threat. And, oh, please, okay, that didn't hit John. Oh, they're shooting themselves a lot. So now that dude's gonna be in trouble. Our, they actually broke down our door, which is a shame, because now, obviously, we'll need to build a new one. But I think we should be able to handle this fine. Why the hell? John is not shooting because he's incapable of fighting. I completely forgot about that. Now we're in a serious pickle. That was very bad play on my part, and I apologize for that. Um... John should be taken off of that, uh, just so he could be safe. Good news, though, is, um, you need to go around there, because that's a horrible angle for that fight. Oh, oh my lord! This is really bad! <laughs> As one would probably guess. Let's actually, um... Colonist is in critical alert. Very, very scary position to be in, for obvious reasons. Let, uh, there's only two more raiders left? Only two more raiders left. We only have one that can fight. Okay, one raider left. Raiders are fleeing. Sweet. We, 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 we beat them. Bad situation is that there's like a million corpses in our base right now. So obviously that's not going to do a lot of good for the uh, mental stability of our, our colony. But we'll, we'll handle it fine. Um, and Big Red is going to be out of commission for a period of time. But... At least we got through all, through all right. Everyone's okay. We have John and um, and Bacchus to work with for a while. Things are certainly going to be quite interesting for the next period. Um, I just hope we don't have any more raider attacks for quite some time. Let's see. It, it, a new ship came into range. I believe that's what just opened a little bit ago. A uh, combat supplier. That is not what I want. I really want a slave trader at this moment. He is selling some good equipment, though. Honestly, an Uzi might be a good thing to pick up. We have 93? I can't tell. Apparently our colony has zero silver? I'm confused. You don't have enough silver to tr Oh, ready to trade! Duh! God, that is rough. We can't even have them... We can't even have stuff dropped to them because we can't send the silver up. That's the problem right here. Okay, we, we, need, we really need to get one of these launch pads built before too long as well. Man, that that this launch pad is a very interesting addition to the game for sure because obviously that's really sucky because that's another 100 metal you have to use, but but also that really restricts your ability to um 
work with the traders in the early game. Very, very interesting stuff. And, um, obviously makes things a bit harder for us at the beginning, but also definitely probably balances out the game a little bit more so we're not incredibly overpowered right off the bat. Um, man, certainly makes me worry about our situation a little bit more, but I, I, I think we should be fine. We definitely need to prioritize getting a wall built around our place, though. Just, it's such an issue because there's all these other things that we want to get in the works as well, but I don't know. At this point, I'm probably just rambling because I'm going to want to cut off the episode here. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like, a comment, and or subscribing if you have not. I am the Egg Scrambled Gamer, and I will see you all next time.